Actions finishing up on the new pedestrian bridge over I-385 in Malden. There it is. It will connect the Swamp Rabbit Trail near that new bridgeway station. And it turns out someone has already given the bridge a unique name, hmm. the Harambe Memorial Bridge. Fox Carolina, Zach Forletsby has <laughs> been looking into this all afternoon. And tonight, Zach, you have an answer from the city about whether or not that's actually the official name. Yes, Dana Tori, this has really been the buzz of the newsroom all day. And <laughs> if you search for this new bridge right now on Google Maps, it will come up as the Harambe Memorial Bridge. There's even a growing memorial at one end with candles, flowers, stuffed animals, and more. But unfortunately for some people, the city of Malden and their officials say this name isn't here to stay. Now, Harambe, a western lowland gorilla, became somewhat of a cult sensation a few years back after he was killed by a worker at the Cincinnati Zoo after a toddler went underneath a fence and was being dragged violently by the gorilla. Now, it's unclear who submitted this name to Google Maps or started this memorial, but a spokesperson for the city of Malden says, well, the city appreciates the community's excitement and interest in the bridge. The memorial will be removed when crews finish work on the bridge and an official name will be chosen. Now, this summer, the city asked for public input in helping name this bridge, asking for names that are unique and reflect a connection to the city, its history or future and over 2,100 names were submitted, which were then narrowed down to five recommendations from the selection committee. And those five recommendations are the Malden Skyway Bridge, Malden Archway, Malden Highway Overpass, a.k.a. the Malden Hop, Malden Gateway Bridge, and Malden's Palmetto Pathway. Now, Malden City Council will discuss those five name recommendations. You can tell uh, the Harambe Memorial Bridge, not one of those five, at their meeting on Monday, October 16th at 7 p.m. And city officials say once the name is officially selected, they will make an announcement. And yes, they will be submitting an edit to Google, so it will probably be wiped off of Google Maps. For now, reporting, Zach Perlutsky, Fox Carolina News.